All right, guys, on this video, we are going to be walking through how to do servicing on an account on a one to one basis where you're not necessarily using our service pipeline to tackle those things. You can really take this video as doing anything on a one to one account, but we're going to be focusing on servicing because that's what the section is. So if you're not using our service pipeline or you haven't added a ton of statuses for all the things you do, there probably is going to be things that you work on that don't fall in this bucket. So you could have a bucket that's called miscellaneous service or whatever it is so that you're tracking that you can get stuff done and unassign it. But some of these statuses aren't going to have um, automation attached to it. Underwriting review, policy change, those definitely won't. Inbound call won't have automation attached to it. So you're going to need to know how to service accounts on a one-on-one -on -one basis, okay? So let me jump over here into a contact view. Um, one of our favorite ways to service accounts with Agency Elephant, or one of the reasons why it's a benefit to use Agency Elephant to service your book of business, is because everything that is said and done in Agency Elephant gets tracked, okay? Every text, every call, every email, every task, every note, every, every activity that is done in Agency Elephant is tracked and stored in our server and our logs, okay? So when you're doing, when you want to add notes to accounts, you can add notes here. When you want to send activity like SMS, ringless voicemail, or emails, you can do that over here, or you can send an SMS here. You can uh, manage pipelines and what pipelines they're assigned to over on the right. Attach documents that they may have sent to you if you're not housing them in your AMS, but you can Come in here for servicing, and let's say, for example, you're trying to service an account, but you don't want to send a text message to the client like, hey, we are working on adding this car and need some more info. And let's say you're looking at adding it and it's 5 a.m. Well, you don't want to send this now, right? You want to schedule it. So you're going to use this feature over here and you're going to schedule that text. I need this to go out around 10 a.m. today. So you're going to come in here and throw in 10.30 a.m., schedule it, send the message is a really great feature if you do your service work in the early morning. The other thing I really like to use is ringless voicemail. If I need to get information across to somebody, but I don't want to be stuck on the phone with them, record a voicemail and let them know, hey, Jim, I'm working on add adding your auto policy to the account. I'm missing the VIN number, though. Can you email me that VIN number over so I can add the, pol uh, add the vehicle to the account? Hit stop, schedule that out for a certain day and time, or send it now, right? You can do those things. It's servicing one-on-one. -on -one. Anything that's said and done is tracked and recorded. So if you have a client that says, Matt, I didn't get your text message or voicemail or email or call, you can say, well, I, I sent it. It's here. I tracked it. Creating tasks in your account to say like, hey, remind, reminder to add Matt's vehicle to his account. And you can say, when do I want to be notified? Well, I need to be notified before I head out of the office on Friday right? I need to notify myself and I need to text myself. And I always put on here, Matt Hahn, I put the full client's name. Um, I always add the full client's name to this task and then I add it. These tasks are really important. They help keep you focused on what needs to be done, remind you on what needs to be done. If you complete a task, you can mark it as complete so you don't get reminded on it, right? Really simple, usable things for managing accounts. This is the best way to do one-on-one -on -one management. You can also do one-on-one -on -one group triggers where you can trigger a drip campaign via the group. If you want to trigger a campaign, you can do all of that from the contact view. Okay, hope that helps. If you got any questions, reach out on our Facebook group.